so that what you have to say no longer matters and will not be taken into account by those who have the power to change policy and thereby practice, and eventually to change attitudes. I just wanted to say that while we were setting up, a gentleman came by, read through the list on the thing, and said, you forgot. There's just so many names that will never fit on a bulletin board. And I want to remind everybody to remember that even if your friend, your cousin, your sibling's name's not up there, we still remember. And taking that thought, I think as we keep all these memories in mind over the coming years, I think that should embolden us even more to carry things forward uh, in our fight for disability rights and equality for people with disabilities as we keep in mind all the people that have died in this fight and try to use this to motivate us to keep even, even strengthen ourselves even further um, as we try to combat the prejudice and the societal attitudes and belief systems that form the background that led people to commit these acts in the first place. And maybe we can still have hope to create change in this area and stop these things from happening.